Hi, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be painting on plein air outside. That view over there of this autumn sort of landscape. Got a French easel here, which I normally take with me outside. Palettes all laid out, we'll go through that in a minute. And I've got these couple of plywood panels, which are about sort of uh, eight inches square, so sort of 20 centimeters square-ish. And I'm just going to take one of those, place that into there, and we're going to get started. I've also got my set of new brushes, which I've uh, bought with thanks to my Buy Me A Coffee supporters. So thanks very much for that. There's always a link in the uh, video description if you'd like to uh, know more about that. It's actually quite nice. I don't know if I need my hat on, actually. I might take that off, actually, for now put it on when I get a bit colder which will be about 10 minutes I expect right let's just get this ready drop this down and that is all secure ready to go let's get started we've got some terps which we're going to place into this dipper here and I've got some Michael Harding oil paint medium today rather than making my own I've got this uh, bottle as a backup that's going to go in there we've got two whites today we've got a titanium white which is a cold white here and a slightly warmer version which is like what used to look the old lead white used to look like that's called a warm white now so a cadmium yellow a lemon yellow today we've got a le chrome lemon which I often find I need a, uh, and never and forget to bring, so I've got it today. Naples yellow, cadmium red, and magenta, Indian red, raw sienna, raw umber, violet, ultramarine blue. This is a Wallace Seymour, uh, like sky blue. It's quite nice. I've, I haven't got any cerulean blue, so that's what I'm using today instead. I've got cobalt blue there, some ivory black, and I put out some sap green there today. And that is what we're going to be painting, just there. Something like that. That's my view. I want to get that field. Let me think, where was I just thinking? I want that. So I want that to sort of be across there. I want this field to slope down like this. And then I want the other one be across the top there and then we've got all these sort of autumny colours in there so we're only going to get that dark tree there so that's what we're thinking at the moment we'll just get something in that cool green at the back to start with and this one in the foreground we're going to just, just slightly change the green a bit more of the chrome yellow in it's quite a slope that that field there. Oh, it just started raining, would you believe it? This could be a really quick one then. So this is the, uh, those cool greens in the foreground. So I've just started practicing, trying out these new brushes and the rain has just started to come down. Hopefully it won't amount to much. It was supposed to come in at seven o'clock. It is now four o'clock, so it's early. I'll put some Indian red and cobalt blue mixed in here. I'm gonna use that actually for that tree. I'm just gonna get this tree in. Something like that. I'm just going to have to bring that in a bit more because I want, definitely need that. I definitely want that in. So that needs to sort of come in like this. Because the panel's so small. I'm going to try and f fit what I can in. Might have to squeeze it in a little bit. Let's just put get something in for that sky in it. get a bit of something in here it 
you know, it gets a bit more uh, bright. So this is like, we're just getting some under painting done here. Get something on as quick as possible. So this is the, that's the tree. Let's get the palette knife on there. Quick scrape off and then we'll stop and have a quick look at what we've got so far. So having a bit more colour into the sky and it actually goes a bit more sort of a uh, ochre violet up here. I'm just going to get some of that in at the top. Probably that little bit of light rain we're just getting at the moment is up there. At the moment, this is our underpainting. And now I'm going to just try this uh, sort of, what is this one? Number two, Ivory Rigger. So this is the one we're going to have a look at now. I'll put that there, you might put there, you can see that better now. Yes, we're going to try that now for some of these uh, field shapes, hedgerows, things like that. Let's use cobalt blue, raw umber and Indian red with a bit of Naples yellow. Probably be too dark, so what I'll do, I'll just make a mark over here. Yes, pretty, no, it's not too bad actually. Let's run this. This is with this long handle rigger. So it's quite, let's try this, see what I can do with this. This is for that, uh, Uh, hedgerow that runs across the top there and actually con continues through the trees there behind. So that goes like that. Touch of a cobalt blue into this one now which runs across here. And it starts to go up. It actually meets that one there. And that one disappears in there. Go back to the filbert now, this one. Let's get some colour in here. There's some greens hanging on in here. Not quite as dark as that though. So yeah, the rain's just starting to fall quite heavily now. So we're just probably just gonna get what I can done before having to abandon ship. Let's get some darks in. Let's get some nice darks in here. Add a bit of Indian red into that ultramarine. There's quite a few sort of dark areas in there. So there is a, this green tree in here, which I need to get in. Let's, let's get some, uh, something a bit lighter in the, that's quite nice green actually. Let's add a bit of lemon -like yellow into that. It's a lot of these colors, the tones, very similar. So I'm going to mix that sap green with the chrome lemon for this sort of green area in here because that's that tree is just sort of changing at the moment this one so it's hanging on to a lot of its uh, leaves just add that into there that brings that forward nicely then that does Lovely tree in the foreground. I'm just hoping I can get that in before I have to go because of the rain. So 
that runs across your seat like that and then disappears. Right, so this is what we've got up to this point here. As it stopped raining, we thought it'll stop, slow down a minute now. I don't have to rush quite so much. And just, this is like the underpainting. I just need to scrape it back a little bit so it's not so thick. Start to go a little bit thick for me here, which means then I, I can't really get the paint on like I like to. So I should scrape back a little bit and then start putting the next layer on. A little wren over there on the post. Lovely. It just gives it more of a um, abstract quality to it, which I quite like. The foreground there. Right, I'm going to switch to this brush now, try this round. Uh, that cuts into there then, you see. That starts to cut into this area here. Like that. There's a wren again. I don't know if you can pick that up with the microphone I'm using. Lovely little wren. Very so often comes out, sings his little song. Lots of different greens. This needs to go a bit darker as well. In here, just above that field edge. And that'll mean we can actually see the edge of the field better so then. It goes lighter like that as it drops away. Let's put that in there. Fill that area in. Right, let's use the cobalt blue with the raw umber in here. We just want to get something in here that's like representing that tree, which is up there. And then we'll use the rigger to paint into it to get the trunks, the tree trunks and branches in a little bit more. brightness raw sienna and violet up here not, so that not too dark there something like that up there so that's got to be repeated down here And a bit more in there as well. Something up there. And there's a nice cool green there now I've just spotted. That is in there. That's nice, I like that. So we are at this point at the moment. That is, I've been working mainly on that area there, the background, 
which you can just see through that gap there. And that is the, the paint surface at the moment. You can see it's not too thick, so I'll keep it fairly thin at the back. There's a few ridges of paint, which I quite like. Uh, but a lot of colours in there to play with. It's good fun, actually. Now I'm going to just move into this uh, middle ground. Sort of here, we've got all these areas of uh, plants and there's a few fence posts. And then we're going to tackle this foreground and the tree trunk and the trees in front of it all. I think, unless it rains. Let's just get a few of these uh, reds in here. There's a fence post that runs sort of in here. The old habits die hard, still using this old brush. It's quite nice actually, that paint's dried pretty quick because I've added that little bit of medium in there. So I'm virtually painting on top of uh, quite dry paint here, which is quite nice. This is a cobalt blue and sap green. Just gonna put a few like leaves and things here. Just get concentrate on these for a minute. So I'm trying to make this, I don't want to get it too, too fiddly and too detailed. This is the tricky part now. That's working quite well. Like this long handled rigger as well. The more I'm using it, the more I like it actually. I need to get a few areas in here which are sort of bright, that brighter. So that's a bit too yellow. I'm just going to look at this, uh, where are we? Here, this area here now, running along the top of the wall. So we've got some uh, branches, some old rusty iron uh, fence post or fencing. And that needs to go into this area here on the painting. So that's what we're going to be focusing on now. And then we try and tidy up that foreground a bit, which looks a bit of a mess actually. Uh, so, yeah, I need a few more areas of bracken that sort of go up. And there's the palette. Looking a bit of a mess as well. Yes, yeah, a messy palette, never mind. And there's a tree branch which I really want to get in because I like it a lot. So I'm going to start with that one. That sort of cuts through here. And it sort of twists like that. Starts to re reappear. Like this. There's one here which is not quite so obvious. It comes out like this. And that sweeps across. I'm going to move it slightly. Sweeps across like that. There's a darker area that comes out of here. Something like that. And then that, that sweeps right up into here. Something like that. And then it cuts through there. 
you can see them but they're quite they're quite subtle and you've got this one here which is a bit more obvious so we make that a bit darker into there got another branch here which is quite nice because that has got a nice shape to it like that it comes up and cuts into there drag that down through there so I'm using like a, a mixture of raw umber and magenta and sometimes it's raw umber with the uh, ultramarine blue so and then scratching a little bit so I'm just going to leave that I'm going to just yes yeah, just place that in there that's a nice hard edge there. And the good thing is with oils, you paint, you're painting into the uh, the wet paint of the sky, so it's uh, it softens itself automatically. Then let's get rid of that one. We don't want these two to look like they're joining. You see here. Get a bit more of that green back into some of them. Okay, I'm gonna bring that down like that and then like that. And then it's going to come from here and then it's going to go up like that we're going to bring this we don't want that to be this line that goes down like that we don't in the middle so we're going to just hint at it there like that and then there's another one that comes down and the rain's coming down again so we're just about finished in time i think that fence post ends in the wrong place it ends just I just need to bring that through because that looks silly tree trunks and branches hint at them a bit more just a few of these may put a few of these in a bit, a bit lighter so they're catching this the the light and yeah, something just up here that might have to do us that's uh where we've decided to stop because the rain has just started coming down i don't think we're gonna get too wet but we've virtually finished now anyway I'll leave, leave it to dry see if there's any areas I need to uh, work on in the studio but yeah colors seem to be quite uh, nice today in the painting and the brushes were great so uh, yeah I've enjoyed myself right well it's just start to rain we're uh, lucky we've uh, finished it now it's quite a small panel so it didn't take too long about an hour's work probably uh, yeah, it's really good fun. I enjoyed that quite a lot. I've always liked it down here. We were down here this morning uh, sketching with Basil. Hello, Basil. There's a short video I put out of that little sketching trip this morning. I was looking that way up there this is a lovely tree which i quite like and it was uh, as we were just about to go home and i looked that way and i thought oh that'll make a nice painting so i thought i'd come back and do it this afternoon so i did and that's it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and uh thanks for the again to the, my supporters on the buy me a coffee 
page which uh, chipped in and helped me buy these new brushes which I desperately needed. So thanks very much to your supporters out there. And if you'd like to contribute or like to know a bit more, look in the, the video description and there is a link to my buy me a coffee page there. And uh, as always, I always appreciate your comments. You know, your support to the channel is very valued. So please don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now. See you next time.